Number 1. Jupiter Glows Jupiter always glows, even when viewed sideways in raw data. Astronomers are combing over new data from the James Webb Space Telescope in a never-ending quest to find ever more distant galaxies. However, the observatory is still studying a variety of objects closer to home. Jupiter is one of the targets of these observations. NASA released a few early JWST photographs of the giant planet, but the telescope has continued to revisit it as part of a mission designed to demonstrate JWST's ability to investigate both our own solar system and the distant universe. That potential can be seen in a raw image captured by the telescope's near-infrared camera instrument, which shows Jupiter's huge storm, known as the Great Red Spot, as well as bands in the planet's atmosphere. And the image, along with Webb's other findings, are intended to aid scientists in understanding the atmosphere, with duties such as describing its thermal structure and layers, as well as researching phenomena such as winds and auroras. Number 2. Neptune's Rings and Moons The James Webb Space Telescope has obtained its first image of Neptune, the solar system's ice giant, revealing the planet in a completely new light. The image provides astronomers with their best sight at Neptune's frozen rings in 32 years, since the Voyager 2 probe sailed by on its way out of the solar system. It has been three decades since we last saw those faint dusty bands, and this is the first time we've seen them in the infrared, said Heidi Hamill, a planetary scientist at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy. The new James Webb Space Telescope image in addition to the previously known bright, narrow Neptunian rings, also shows some fainter dust rings around Neptune that even Voyager 2's up-close-and-personal visit to the planet in 1989 couldn't reveal. Rings that scientists have never seen before. The typical blue color that has come to be associated with the ice giant from Hubble Space Telescope pictures appears to be lacking from the JWST Neptune photograph. Because the JWST detects Neptune in near-infrared light, this blue tint, created by methane in the planet's atmosphere, is missing. Because methane in the planet's freezing clouds absorbs light substantially at these wavelengths, the planet appears fairly black to the JWST in areas where dazzling high-altitude clouds are not present. Number 3. First Images of Mars The James Webb Space Telescope has taken its first photos of Mars, capturing infrared light emitted by the red planet with exceptional sensitivity. The first photos and spectra of Mars from the James Webb Space Telescope were revealed on Monday during the Europlanet Science Congress 2022. Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, captured images of Mars's observable disk, the side of the planet lit by the sun and facing the telescope and could provide planetary scientists with a unique view of Earth's close neighbor, delivering data that can be used in conjunction with observations made by rovers like NASA's Perseverance and craft in Martian orbit. Scientists utilized relatively brief exposures to examine Mars to prevent the strong infrared light from Mars from dazzling the JWST's equipment. This entailed measuring only a portion of the light that reached JWST's detectors, and then analyzing the acquired data using unique procedures. Number 4. X-ray Vision Boost Four of NASA's newest observatory's initial science quality photographs have benefited from X-ray vision. The photographs released by the James Webb Space Observatory this summer became instantly iconic, but a new collaboration with NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory reveals that, despite being the most powerful space observatory ever built, JWST isn't going to study the cosmos in isolation. In fact, it may be most useful when used in conjunction with other instruments. Because JWST is meant to study the universe in the infrared, its work is enhanced when paired with instruments that observe space in different wavelengths of light, such as Chandra's X-ray vision. Consider the image of Stefan's quintet, in which four galaxies are involved in a complex gravitational dance, while a fifth galaxy watches from afar. The JWST view of these galaxies revealed previously unseen features, like as gas tails and bursts of intensive star formation caused by their interactions. When paired with data from Chandra and NASA's departed Spitzer Space Telescope, Stefan's Quinte observations revealed a previously unknown shockwave heating gas to tens of millions of degrees on any scale. One of the galaxies weaves through the others at roughly 2 million miles per hour, causing this shockwave. 
Cosmic collisions are also important in the distant Cartwheel Galaxy, which JWST studied. When this galaxy collided with a smaller galaxy 100 million years ago, it formed its distinctive shape. As the smaller galaxy blasted through the Cartwheel Galaxy's heart, it triggered a burst of intense star creation. In the Cartwheel Galaxy, Chandra data reveal X-rays released by superheated plasma and individual destroyed stars, as well as neutron stars and black holes greedily feeding on material ripped from companion stars. Number 5. Mysterious Rings The James Webb Space Telescope photographed enigmatic concentric rings around a faraway star, which astronomers are still trying to understand. Judy Schmidt, a citizen scientist, posted the photograph on Twitter in July, triggering a flood of responses and puzzlement. It depicts WR140, a star surrounded by regular ripple-like circles that progressively fade away. The circles, on the other hand, are not exactly round, but rather have a square-like appearance, generating suspicion about possible alien origins. WR140, situated 5,600 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus, is a variable star that dims and brightens on a regular basis. It remains to be determined whether the star's variability has anything to do with the unexplained ripples. The image, on the other hand, showcases the capability of the $10 billion James Webb Orbit Telescope, the most powerful observatory ever sent into orbit and lauded for its innovative infrared vision and super keen eye. Number 5. Massive Galaxy Cluster Bending Light NASA's Deep Space Observatory captured light being bent in the distant universe in a dark matter dance. The enormous James Webb Space Telescope mirror used the gravity of a galaxy cluster to observe a known galaxy distant behind. But there's a twist. New study published Wednesday reveals Webb may be seeing two galaxies rather than one. The Hubble Space Telescope has already imaged the region but this new view is crisper than ever. According to Co, Hubble spotted the items, named Max 0647 JD, and discovered 10 years ago as a pale red dot generated just 400 million years after the Big Bang that created the universe. While Webb confirmed that the original object was actually two, the nature of what the new telescope is seeing remains unknown. Webb's team is committed to publishing work in progress Therefore, this discovery has not yet been peer-reviewed and is still under consideration. If Webb discovered two galaxies, a far more exciting possibility exists. A galactic merger may be taking place in the early cosmos. Webb's use of gravitational lensing is not novel in astronomy, but taking advantage of big objects' propensity to bend light will yield fresh insights using the telescope's sensitive detectors. Webb is designed to observe the early universe, which is quickly receding from us in infrared wavelengths. Number Psi Pair of Colliding Galaxies The James Webb Space Telescope captured images of a collision between two galaxies that is causing a rush of star formation that is unseen to other telescopes. The encounter of two galaxies known as IC 1623 sparked the wave of star formation. According to experts, the merging duo is creating stars at a rate 20 times quicker than our own Milky Way galaxy. Other telescopes, including Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which specializes in detecting optical light, wavelengths visible to the human eye, have previously imaged the galactic clash. However, because IC 1623 is shrouded in dust, scientists have been unable to peek deeper into the galaxies to observe the developing stars. The James Webb Space Telescope pierced through the shroud with ease, revealing a luminous center emitting so much infrared light, basically heat, that the galaxy produces the trademark eight-spike refraction pattern seen in Webb's images containing bright stars. When compared to Hubble's earlier image of IC 1623, Webb's view reveals an entirely new layer in the structure of the merging galaxies, which is portrayed as the central lump of bright red and orange material in the image. The two galaxies in this image are located in the constellation Cetus, approximately 270 million light years from Earth. Astronomers predict that the merger may potentially result in the formation of a supermassive black hole, which is not seen in this image. 